Oh, Hello. Hello. Hi, Jasmine and everyone who's here with us. Um, uh -huh. Welcome to this very exciting and interesting discussion about fasting and um, how to reset uh, with the fast, how to detox with the fast and help you to get through all the different issues that happen with menopause. So uh, Yasmin is a dear friend. She's one of the group members of our Lifebook Accountability Group. And um, she is an amazing, eclectic, multicultural designer based out of Nepal. She designs clothes for women uh, with a spiritual, holistic outlook. And uh, she uses all her intuition, her emotional intelligence, uh, and her studies with chakras, meditation to help design for women uh, that makes them bring out their best inner self. She's been on a fasting journey for over 35 years and has coached uh, over 15 people to go through long fasts. So I just uh, want to welcome Yasmin and um, would love her to share a little bit about her story, about how she got into fasting and all the different things she's been doing with fasting over the last um, 35 years. So then we can go on an exploration with her. Welcome Yasmin. Thank you, Nilima. I'm so, I'm so uh, honored to be here and uh, talking about a subject that I found fascinating that is part of my life and I'd love to share it with people. Um, okay, so um, in order to start the, 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 so I live right here in, uh, in Nepal, but I'm basically a global citizen, uh, oh. been born in Germany uh, from a French and Greek mother, Moroccan father. Uh, grew up in Morocco and now live uh, in Kathmandu for the last 35 years, in between five years in New York City, lived in Brazil. So mm -hmm. I do, I love him, I love traveling and I love human beings and I love, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, getting to know what triggers me and what triggers others to be the way they are. And health, is, health and beauty, actually the my profession is as a fashion designer for 35 years of made to measure, taking care of the body. Yeah. And really motivating, what's motivating me actually is not the, the, the clothing per se, but it's more the search for beauty and harmony. Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, because people were asking me many times the question, what, why did you become a fashion designer? And uh, it's, it's just one of the avenues that I've chosen. That's why right now, after 35 years of body, uh, making made to measure, I dealt with so many women on the psychological level, the emotional level, yeah. or the spiritual level. I've had so many um, encounters. It's a very, it's like going to the hairdresser, you have like, it's like a confessional. Yes, <laughs> it's, yes. oh, I was search, but anyway, it's uh, people really become relaxed and want to, express uh uh you know their inner their inner more readily yeah so fun. and uh, especially because i do fittings i got to deal with a woman and the body and her expression in front of her of her of the mirror and yeah. how she reacts to herself. and that has been a very fascinating uh, psychological journey for me to see how women react to their body how they yeah. And, and then because some of the cases have been where I felt like they needed help, not only on the physical and the beauty part of it, but there is, 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 the concept of their body, uh, it had to go much deeper on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's actually relating to myself because uh, it's so interesting that one's profession uh, always stems, seems to me, always stems for some uh, something that is missing in one's life and wants to be expressed. Like, for example, a doctor who wants to be, uh, why, why? Because in, in the field of medicine, there's so many areas. But let's say this doctor had a grandmother who broke her ankle, died, whatever the story, and decided he wants to fix that problem as a young, and they're dedicating life in that particular area so that it could feel, it could basically heal the wound of the pain that it experienced. So in my case, I would say as a, as a child, there was no problem with my body image, uh, not per se, because I was a very dynamic, maybe too dynamic for the traditional background I, I grew up from. 
But let's say around in the age where uh, in the 20s, 1820s, there was uh, emotional disturbance, emotional ups and downs where I didn't feel comfortable myself with my emotions. And I, I, um, uh, my way to compensate was to overeat. So for, for a while, I was very, uh, let's say for a whole year, I would say, uh, uh, I was suffering from an eating disorder, which was called bulimia. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and uh, it was a very hard, a very dark period of my life emotionally. I wasn't satisfied, so I get compensation through eat overeating. Mm -hmm. Alcohol was not in my my interest, and nor nor I would never got into drugs. I never got into, but I had this addiction, which was mm -hmm. food. So. My look of myself in the mirror was like, oh my gosh, I got so fat. I had so many more kilos and I really didn't like it because my, again, my search for beauty and harmony was still there. It's still yeah. been there after all the, all the, my life, throughout my life until now. And so I had resorted and I wasn't happy. So I was resorting from not eating, overeating, uh, you know, uh, jogging five kilometers after I ate, I never perched, so I gained the weight. Obviously, <laughs> so so this was this was the one of the reasons why I was trying to fix the problem. So I, uh, so I thought maybe the food, maybe if I eat too much, then I eat too little. So this when it started, the idea of fasting started. But I have to say that as it goes along and. I felt more emotionally, more uh, in control because the whole dynamic around uh, overeating or disorders of that kind is is you 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 lose control in the emotions and you want to gain control through food, yeah. through uh, or out be completely out of control. So I was like shifting this and that, but I had a glimpse of how it felt not to eat. I didn't go through the spectrum of anorexia, never, because I love food too much. But I have to say, I understand the mechanic of addiction. Mm. Um, it took really a long time for me to recover from it through uh, yoga, meditation, uh, being more at peace with myself, being a more finding other source of enjoyment. Mm. And, so I started the fast slowly like this, feeling, losing the weight, gaining the weight, you know, it was like, whew. and then only I would say in the last uh, uh, 30 years, because this started since I was in my twenties. So, so now I'm 69. Tell, tell our viewers how, how old you are now, let them be. I'm 69. <laughs> Look I'm at 69. that. You're amazing. <laughs> Look at that smile. Look at the glow on your face. <laughs> the smile is oh, never age. <laughs> and your hair. You just look gorgeous. Yes. I it's have vibrant, been, I... gorgeous, mentally Thank super sharp. That's Thank all. you. Thank you. I, I, I've been very grateful for my ancestors' genes because <laughs> my mother. Yeah, and my sister is only two years old. She hardly has any white hair. Can you oh. imagine? She's six, seven. She hardly has any white hair. So I did. I do. I mean, there is a part of uh, the inherit the, the heritage that is there genetically, but you. It depends also what you do with it. So yeah. since I've been fasting so regularly, twice a year, I have to say it has uh, stopped the aging process in the track. That's wow. why I look so much. Yeah. It does. Believe me, when you start a fast, I can see that in the next, uh, I see after the third or the fourth day, my skin starts to lift up, starts to clean up. I feel lighter. It's amazing. It's, a, it's such a quick transformation. I say, I don't need to put all this cream. It, the body does its, it, what it knows best, which is to be at its best. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we, so, so yeah, okay. So the, the fasting, yes, got it better and better. And I started to, anyway, we can talk about the benefit at maybe another time. But uh, this is where, where my interest in, where it stemmed, that interest in nutrition and, and, and that frustration of my body trying to 
to bend my body to the level of the ideal uh, ideal of beauty that I have mm. in my mind yeah. on my body and then comfortable with that. Yeah. So in a way that drawback put me into in touch with the fashion that as uh, that really cover I know really how to tr to cover up uh, what you call excess luggage. And I'm very good at making making a fantasy work mm. because I wanted that for myself. I wanted yeah. to look slim, it's, but I wasn't thinking yeah. I was slim. Yeah. So I made clothes for myself, and in the process, met many women who were exactly going through the same thing with different reasons, but wanting to look to to look good in spite of uh, you know the extra kilo that um, that piles up along the years except that now I have refused to age that way. I don't <laughs> believe that the menopause, you have to get the belly, you have to get this and you get, no, 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 no. Now is the best is yet to come now. And yeah. I truly want to be, I want to show people that it's possible by my own, uh, you know, my own uh, life and my, the way I look and the way I live my life. I'm on my bicycle for, for everything. I'm very active Yeah, and I eat well. Anyway, yes. So that's you, you that's just that's, done, you just traveled three two different continents and you know you've been on a yeah. tour of Portugal, travel, trekking, walking, super energy, lots yeah. and lots of energy. <laughs> lots of energy that was God given, but I have to say the energy you produce as well. Yeah. If you live the life that you are passionate about and you don't get yourself put down <laughs> because of fear. Uh, you you generate fear, you generate energy. Yeah. So my life during the COVID, for example, in Portugal, uh, I spent three months. And uh, at the beginning, I said, "My gosh, I travel all this way, and I'm going to stay my, in my home and just stay put. No way! I'm going to go and travel." And that's I gave myself permission to do that. And people say, "Oh yeah, but the police is going to do this, and the police is going to do that." I said, "I'll deal with it when I deal with it." let me do what I set myself to do. And I did it and I had a wonderful time. It was amazing. I mean, truly, I, I don't care. I mean, the shopping is another experience which I found that I wasn't, it, it just, I lost interest in the shopping part and I was just walking and watching beautiful buildings, meeting occasional people, had amazing conversation. I had some amazing food and anyway I was in a great space and uh, but you need to provoke it you know you need to see with yourself what is it that you're willing what is it that you want from your life you know the same thing you can shape the body you want forever and not let your fear interfere <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good take on the word interfere. so Jasmine, when you were going through menopause what how did fasting help you because uh, like you say, you know, you obviously, when you were younger, you started off with this journey of fasting and um, you, along the way, I'm sure one of the things that would have happened is that your eating disorder actually got transformed into self-love because it's very easy to have an eating disorder and then go into anorexia because of fasting, which is why one of the dangers that doctors advise, you know, young girls not to do fasting is because they're afraid that they'll develop an eating disorder. But what you've done with your health is actually you've gone the other way and with spirituality, with mindfulness and with uh, your love of art and beauty and design, you've incorporated a lot of self-compassion and self-love into this process. So it's not just about not eating, right? No. How, how did this self-love and this transformation help you through your menopause journey? Well, I have to say, uh for whatever reason. Okay, let me just show you one example, which was, I think, very powerful. In my, uh, in my early 50s, uh, mm -hmm. where is it? late 40s, uh, I, throughout my life, I had very irregular period. I mean, I got pregnant, so I'm okay with that. I had the, uh, the ability to conceive. But uh, I did the, a, a long fast that time. I remember it was 24 days on water only. Mm -hmm. And after the fast, it, it was amazing. My hormonal cycle just readjusted. And my period went from then onwards, because I had my menopause much later at 55, right. so 56, 
got pregnant at 55, can you imagine? Anyway, at 56 is when I had the beginning of my uh, menopause. So I, I, for 10 years, I've had very regular, the hormonal system got into, it, it got regulated by the fast. So it needed that. And so this is one thing. And because of the regulation and because I've been doing the fast regularly, mm -hmm. my system is in good health. Right. Uh, of course, I, uh, you know, I like, I went to, I, I overdid a bit, uh, uh, you know, when I travel, I just try this and that, and, you know, I get off my balance. But on a general basis, I follow. Okay, so there is many, in order to be healthy, the health is not just the diet. It's, and fasting is definitely not a diet. Mm -hmm. The losing of the weight while you fast is a not natural byproduct, mm -hmm. but it's not. A, so you need, to, there is, you need to address the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. Yeah. So it's a thorough grouping. Yeah. The, the, you, uh, so once, when I do that regularly, I feel more in touch with mm -hmm. my body. Mm -hmm. I feel more in touch with my emotions. I feel my mental clarity is of the, of the chart. And my connection with the spirit is so more direct. My intuition speaks in. I'm much more. I'm much less emotional uh, because I'm the type of person who likes, you know, is into action. And 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 when I fast, believe me, I can sit down and watch my emotion and decide. Mm. I have a choice. Mm. Will I move in there in that direction or not? Well, so. In that way, the fast has helped me tremendously to be a little bit more uh, uh, in touch with, uh, with, uh, with a bit of distance around my emotions. Mm -hmm. And uh, so physically, the natural intelligence of the body operates in the, in the, during the fast. Mm -hmm. You truly, this, I mean, in my case, I have had so many fasts, so I truly trust the process of the intelligence which will go. I don't need to be a doctor to know that I, if I had, uh, uh, let's say, an issue around the, the liver or the rump, the first, and if it's important, the body's intelligence will go straight to where it's needed. Right. I trust that. And then when you're sensitive enough, as you go through the process of fasting, you will know the energy is going in a particular direction. And I have, have experienced that with people who are fasting and they say, oh my gosh, my leg. And I had no idea that they had a leg problem or my, my back. And they were saying, yes, I'm having some kidney issue, blah, blah, blah. So it's really, it will go, you see, life is intelligent. The process is for evolution, yeah. for better mm -hmm. and not for less. The body is not after it is not an enemy. It's actually nature will wants you to be well. Yeah. And it will do whatever it needs to clear out your your space. So sometimes disease is a way from the body to say, excess luggage here, yeah. we need you need rest and we need you to clean up. Yeah. So if you stop it by taking medicine, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, I say, but let's say. If this is, uh, let's say you have a flu, some people would take, uh, uh, there, there is a fever. I'm not saying uh, of, the, of the chart fever, I'm talking about the regular flu. A lot of people would take this pill, that pill to stop it. Now, mm. in the process, this is the natural process of the body to clean. Yeah. So if you take, uh, if you let the fever, the fever is to burn toxicity, whatever. Mm. If you let the body to just do its job, mm. it will do it. And then the more you, you trust it, the more, the closer and the faster you, you heal. Right. Because it is less garbage. Yeah. You see, it's like taking your body is like going to the mechanic, going for a fast, you go to the mechanic, you change the oil, you change this, you do, you clean up. Then your operation of the, the car it works much better, right? Mm -hmm. It works super. And then if you 
polish it, polish it nicely. If you know how to drive it nice, uh, you know, not too much excess uh, uh, speed or, or too much stress, you will, uh, it will last longer and you can have a beautiful car for the rest of your life. You don't have to change your car every two. I imagine if you have to change your body every two or three years. <laughs> I mean, as an analogy. Yeah. So different ways of fasting, aren't there? I mean, um, uh, I know you're planning to do a longer fast, like a 10 day fast, and you've been doing even longer fast. So uh, what, is the, what is the difference in the attitude, the mental attitude one needs to take when one does like a short fast, maybe like intermittent fasting, somebody who is fasting for maybe, 18 hours or 20 hours or 24 hours and somebody who's fasting for say three days or seven days or 10 days or 24 days what kind of mental adjustment or what is the difference in the mental attitude to a short fast and a long fast well you see uh first of all yes it's definitely a mindset if you feel you're going to be starving, if you feel you are not ready to do the fast, that you have a lot of fear around food, not eating the food that you will be starving, the fast is not going to happen nicely. Right. So I would say, especially with the conditioning that people have, like when you're sick to feed the, the sick person food, so because they're fear, this is the worst time to feed anybody okay. <laughs> is during sickness. Exactly. You leave the I mean, animals know better. Yes. They, 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 they go in a corner and they deal with the, the right. nature and then they find and then you no matter how much beautiful food you give them they're not interested yes. until they yes. so we human beings because our mind we create this situation where there's a lot of fear around not eating yeah. when it's uh it's a, a personally I think when you fast after three days there's no more hunger really right. for me okay. that experience so the fear, the when you do intermittent, uh, it, it it requires a certain dis mental discipline so that you're not. Uh, I would recommend intermittent fasting after a fast. Okay. To okay. recover. Okay. Cover. Okay. I think it would be ideal. But once you do the fast, and if your man, mind is uh, set, that's that's why I do in my coaching is like their mindset has to be they have to be ready. Mm. These are the people who are at the crossroad. They've tried this, they've tried that. They have just fed up with their lives. They want to change, and they want it quick. And I tell you, fasting is a real quick way. Now to what, maintain what what, that, what changes are they looking for? So when when they're coming to you for a fast, is it just about losing weight? What changes are they looking for? What's the motivation? Yeah, uh, it looks like at the beginning is that women. This a lot of them are women, but not only because I've had men. It's usually around weight, weight loss. Mm -hmm. So I said uh, I said to them, listen the loss of weight the loss of weight is a natural process it will happen if you don't eat for 10 days you will lose weight and i've never met anybody who hasn't lost anything in diets is questionable mm. but it's the the fact is that when you when you don't eat after three days that feeling of hunger truly disappear mm. and because what mm. is is hunger is, is one of the one of the things that people are most afraid of when fasting I'm hungry. I'm going to be hungry all the time. Hungry and irritable and you know anxious. Okay. And... Listen, it's a it's a, it's a mindset. So if you uh but it's so interesting. I had I had the case of two people, a husband and wife. She was into smoking and he was into over drinking, you know, the and it was like borderline alcoholism. Mm -hmm. But uh so they I I uh, I was introduced to them and uh, I told them about the fast and uh, and they went for it mm. and I have to tell you for 22 days cold turkey she didn't smoke wow. one cigarette take a drink now that is fantastic right for them they thought oh I, and I tell them I was because they said we are not going to be able to do that it's impossible and I said just give it a try. Just try two, three days. After the second and the third, they say, why not? And they continue, they continue, they continue until the 22 days was over, which was 10 days of water fast and 10 days of recovery. Mm -hmm. They followed me to the T. I had to be with them every day. That's my job, is to, to monitor their progress. There is a whole program that I do with this, like with a grid where they record 
uh, the state of uh, uh, the physical, the mental state, uh, morning until the evening. So I know how to monitor and I'm there and I give them other tools. That's my job. And, and so they were able to do that. And after that, they said, let's try on our own. Because what I consider in, for a habit, especially if you are a habit like smoking, I don't think uh, 20 duty is gonna do the trick. Right. It's just gonna give you in the mind, yeah, I can do not smoke if I don't, but you need three months of, uh, of resetting your mm -hmm. mind about and create a new habit, but it takes three months. So I can follow them. I can follow that, them later to them. I, let, I, told, I told them after 22 days, congratulations. Now they feel that the impossible became possible. Can you imagine? That's amazing, right? Just that in life, just mm -hmm. to know that yeah. what you thought at one point impossible became possible and you yeah. saw it, Absolutely. didn't yeah. die. Yeah. That's and then pounds that the guy and then was like wow he had really inflated uh legs and it, it was it was amazing to watch i i love it for me the it's a process of transformation of on all level you know because they become like oh my gosh yes really oh this is amazing i'm feeling lighter the heart <laughs> But you have to monitor at the beginning. That's why I'm only taking people who are reasonably healthy. No, nobody who has cancer or a different, you know, advanced disease. So because I'm not a doctor and I don't want to take that responsibility, it takes preparation, even though I feel fast would help with any inflammation. Yes. So to reduce it. But maybe the person is too weak and that's maybe not a good thing. So my criteria is reasonably a healthy people who want a change in their lives. There so is something- this, that change, they, this changes that this couple experienced, was it a long lasting change or was it lasting change or did they have to- They, did they, relax? Had, an they had improvement. Her, instead of smoking, let's say, uh, every day, every three days, she would wear smoke and he he would have reduced. Okay. Now, it's interesting because I was away and they decided to, and I was away. So I'm going to go back to them and then uh, recap, re, uh, re talk with them and see what happened uh, about this. But I, I'm not into the the belief that they, they, they completely eradicated. That would be fantastic. But I don't think in the first pass, that's what happens. So in but your experience, they, what is the long-term benefit of, you know, what, see, because when, when somebody goes on a long fast, what is, is there anything that changes forever? Or is there something like, if they go back to their previous lifestyle, it's all gonna go back to what it was before. Like they just have to do another fast. Or is there something that changes in their mindset forever? Well, uh, I think it's from individual to individual. The one, the one who are really motivated to have a change in their life, they feel a particular way and, and, and they have that memory of how they feel. And if they go off track, which I have been off track often, you know, you think I'm a really godly thing. No, <laughs> I, it is like, a, I, I fell by off the wagon, but I went back and now it's getting easier and easier. And now the ideas of, uh, I trimmed myself to the to the level of health that I want to achieve and also the choices I make around nutrition yeah. well before it was oh, okay but now there are certain things I'm just not interested yeah. because I know the effect they will have like sugars too much sugar mm -hmm. doesn't mm -hmm. feel right yeah. uh, too much fat fried I'm very particular about the type of uh, fat that I use I put inside my body uh, I'm basically a vegetarian uh, and I just I just check out all the things uh, that are not that are processed I truly tell them processed food is out of the window if you can yeah, yeah. yeah. because so the, like, the, the uh, Dave, Dave Asprey he talks about when he talks about his fast challenge one of the things he says that one of the reasons you feel really good when you're fasting is because you're not eating the stuff that causes you to feel sick in the first place. <laughs> so yeah. That makes a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, your body is finally saying, oh, you're giving Thank me God. nothing. Thank like, God you don't know eating that rubbish. <laughs> it's not really a holiday, by the way, for the body. I would think the fast is 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 a holiday for the body. The body is very active during yeah, the fast. Yeah, yeah. It's cleaning the house. Yeah. So if your house yeah. is dirty, 
it's going to it depends how vital you are because it, it can be very uncomfortable yeah in, but what, way? in what way uh, what sort of what sort of stuff comes up for people when they go through a long fast well at the beginning if they have uh, if they have a, you know caffeine uh, addiction like a lot of coffee so they may they may have developed headaches mm -hmm. uh, some people like to vomit or some have a little bit of diarrhea uh, it's nothing major it's uh, something to bear through right. i mean it's not the magic pill that you put and then you, everything is fine you have your effort you damage your body you abuse your body it's going to show something. Hello is going to go and tell you, left. let me get rid of this and leave all that. And you're going to experience what you have, the, 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 the abusive uh, substance that you yeah. have taken yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes in the urine, you can smell medicine, some old yeah. stuff that get rid, that's getting rid. You may, you may experience maybe a little bit of, uh, Alice, uh, you know, like uh, a change of the vision. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you see colors. But these are all good stuff that goes out of your system and uh, clean the house. Mm -hmm. And and then the, that's why I highly only recommend don't do the fast. And if you need to take the time off, it's a holiday for you. It's take it seriously. It, it's it's rest. You know, I mean, after all these fasts, I can operate normally. What during the fast, I work, I work, I do, I do, I you know but if i'm tired i sleep i, I rest i listen to my body mm -hmm. the body will tell you after cleansing it goes Woo! i have like oh i feel clean i feel light and then you have a resurge of energy but when it's cleaning up the energy that goes in the muscles mm -hmm. is going inside so you have less energy so you feel like oh, climbing the stairs can be so tiring right. but then it goes and, and you know and then all these uh, emotions also you're mm -hmm. cleaning up not only the garbage of the, the the of the food but you 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 clean up also emotions and they they are stored in the tissues yeah so some yeah. and the, what do you remember so, yes so as yeah you but if you remember the most important the words that is the most damaging it's it's a very intelligent process just trust it it will not its interest is you to be at its best to continue on this life journey in your body but in a better version of it and 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 it will just go where it's needed right and it will not touch the last thing they will do is is uh, the vital organs you know like if when you do long fast mm -hmm. it will the, mm -hmm. that will be the last resort so starvation mm -hmm. is out of question when it comes to the Western world. I mean, we are just have a lot of reserves. So I don't think we are like in the Biafrao in Africa where people are like, I mean, they are really skinny. But skinniness, no, you still have in the Western world when you're thin, you still have reserve. It's just yeah. not in the form of fat. Yeah. Because one of the, uh, there's two, two concerns actually. Uh, one of them is about uh, losing muscle mass because some there's some research when you look at it, it shows that uh, when you do a fast for 10 days, actually, and, and you remain active, you know, in the sense, at least you're doing walking, you're doing some level of mild aerobic activity, you don't, or you do a little bit of muscle work, you don't lose muscle mass. And other research that shows that as you go into longer fasts, you actually start losing muscle mass, um, particularly, you know, people, are, some researchers are worried about people who have heart problems. So you start to lose muscle from your heart or your vital organs, et cetera and not necessarily losing that much fat. Um, so you have weight loss, but most of it is coming from muscle. So in, in order to avoid that, I'm sure there's some sort of preparation that needs to happen before you go into this kind of a fast. I mean, um, when, when I did Wild Fit with Eric Edmeads and all, he, he, the way he used to talk about fasting was that um, anyway, people in the West are basically, their bodies are starving because they're overeating on stuff that their body is not nourished with. So essentially they're being overfed and undernourished. So they're already starving. So if you put that kind of a body through a fast, it's going to rebel or it's going to go into problems. So his advice is that you actually top yourself up nutritionally really, really well. And then you use fasting as a hack to get into ketosis or to get rid of the toxicity or you know, to detox yourself. So that is the only way that he recommends fasting. So what's your take on 
you know, mus losing muscle mass or, you know, the nutritional preparation needed for undergoing a fast in the best way, in the optimal way, so it doesn't harm you. Okay, so uh, as I said, the average person I'm taking on, are uh, they have you know, they may be nutritionally deprived, which is they have uh, followed the uh, standard American diet, for example, mm -hmm. they will be. But the body during the fast goes first, as I said, the last would be to take on the heart muscle. Mm -hmm. it, it will go first to the fat. So if you have a lot of fat, this that's going to be burnt. So there is no need to fear, you know, it's good. It's all good. So the 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 preparation you're talking about is which i recommend actually before uh it, it's it's about ideally yeah okay it's about 22 days of decreasing uh it's a cleansing diet mm -hmm. so you if you are a meat eater you will you will uh, remove the 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 meat and then you remove the the grains and the dairy and then you you process like this is a whole routine until you go to the fruits and then from the fruits you go to the water right. and then you okay. can okay that way the most gentle the more the more come to, and then also very important is how after the fast of 10 days fast for month for that particular course the 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 digestive ju juices have suspended yeah. so you need to Cover is that's why I'm saying ten days of recovery. Like you have degraded, you have a blah, 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 up to water. Now you have to rebuild, have to rebuild from it. the water to the juices. Every so there is a particular protocol and process which you need to absolutely follow right. because. You know, first thing is like your mind is saying ah hamburger or whatever <laughs> that you, the body is going to tell because there will not be gastric juices to digest and you will feel miserable. Yeah. So there's the whole particular protocol. You need to be gentle. I mean, can I listen to your body? For 10, for 10 days, you didn't give anything. All of a sudden, you're pounding all the cream and all the uh, cheesecake. Or No, 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 please, no. Your if you listen to your intelligence, you will know this yeah. is wrong. You and you don't feel, I mean, your mind wants that, but your body will not. Yes. You know, yes. it's it all about the mind. They follow the animal kingdom. They will yes. not. They will just go along to their body, listening to the body. Listening is so important. Yes. Listening to your body. So do you, and for that, you need do you recommend stress. meditation or something as part of the fast? Uh, I recommend to slow down. slow down. And I recommend fasting from the media. Wow, I recommend very important death, <laughs> fasting from the media, fasting for toxicity. Uh, ideally, if you could be in an environment near nature, you will absorb the the the, the green uh, air, the, the the trees. You'll be you'll be in sync. Your body would love to be in nature. So yeah. nature, clean water, sound, quiet around people or not but if they are they have to be not toxic people not people you always fight for or fight with uh, so uh, if you are home just tell you if you live in a family they have to be on board otherwise it's going to be not fun yeah but yeah. if they're on board then they, they you have to let them know this is your time and then you take time off and but let me tell you something that was very funny uh, when I did my 24 day fast and in, in other ways as well, uh, I love, you know, all the senses because you're being cleansed. So the sense of touch is like, you can feel anything, right? It's the sound, you can hear everything. The taste when you resume is like amazing, right? But the sense of smell is astounding. I had, so after it's so interesting because I was uh, at the time I was with my family, you know, my husband and my daughter, and uh, and I was cooking for them. I was absolutely, I, I I had to cook because, believe it or not, I felt nourished by the sense of smell. Right. So it's was it was not. I mean, I I felt nourished, so I didn't feel like I had to eat it. Okay. It was just like my set. I'm not going to eat for such a time. That's thing. The idea is to start when you start. The hardest is the start. After that, you you you're good. 
pretty good, I would say. So I was I was preparing food and I could wait to do that. And the smell of onion frying or all this was like delightful. Now, it's all the smells are very intense. So if it's good food, uh, if it's good smell, then you you like it. If not, then you also don't like it as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of both ways. <laughs> So it was very, uh, it was very interesting to see that I was able to, uh, to cook and enjoy. And another thing which I thought was very uh, interesting is that when I was feeling tired, because there are times where you feel tired, the exercise, you know, the pranayam to be with the sun mm -hmm. and then do the breathing techniques. I was like ch charging my battery. I was like, what? I'm wow. charged again. And then I continue on then. Uh, you know, so yeah, so I developed, you know, uh, a more subtle, the, the subtle sense, the senses are more, uh, more uh, sensitive. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about, remember the long term, the yeah. long term, which I definitely am much more in touch with my sense, my, wow. the sense of smell, the sense of touch, the sense of hearing. Uh, the vision um, off and on. I have to do some more effort on that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you know, uh, amazing glasses that I got in uh, Zagreb. Yeah, I was going to say, they look amazing. <laughs> I'm, able to, I'm able to see the world in multicolor. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, also, uh, also, you know, when you take the time to listen and to reflect and, uh, and med you're asking about meditation, yes, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a pause, to do a pause every day. Uh, it's, it's like your body is a nourishment and your body feels like that. When you, if you don't, when I don't, sometimes I don't, I miss it yeah. because it's just a, it's a me time and it's like a reconnection with my divine spirit. It's, a, it's relaxing because where we live in this world, uh, the modern world, uh, yes. too intense yes. sometimes, you yes. know. Yes. So it's not just a fast from food. It's actually a fast uh, in many ways. It's a withdrawal from um, all the artificialness of our world, you know, the toxicity of people, the kind of work we do the social, digital engagement, etc. So it's more than just oh, yeah. from food. And then you're more sensitive, I say. Also toxicity, you can feel it. You can yes. feel it in people. Yeah, you can pick it, you, you know, quickly. Stay with people, stay around people, you feel good around, you know? Yeah. And you can immediately feel the, 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 the so it, you know, it, it, it developed your apparatus of a human, you become more tuned towards the, light towards the well-being towards kindness towards love compassion to yourself wow and that i think amazing. it's a gift you give to yourself especially women after you know like during menopause and i think there's a lot of change happening yeah the children are out they may be or may not be with their husband or their sense of attractiveness is yeah. is 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 in Yes. uh the, the the wrinkle comes the gray i mean there's a lot yes. it's a big it's a big transformation but it's uh it doesn't have to be negative at all it could be a, a renaissance mm -hmm. i mean i feel like i'm in a renaissance i'm my the, the truly believe the best is yet to come yes. can you imagine just, just that. the bearing years is over you don't have to fear that you got, oh, gosh, am I pregnant? I'm not pregnant. Remember the young woman <laughs> when you were like that? <laughs> I had my period. Well, okay, this is gone. Yeah. Then yeah. you have the, you, 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 uh, the children or the, the responsibility, the, I mean, my, my daughter is gone. It's, it, it's her, on her own. I'm fine. I'm not, don't have any parents. My parents are gone a long time ago. So depending on the situation. Uh, I truly, I feel like, wow, uh, professionally, I proved myself. Most women after, you know, 60, they have a life that they can, uh, a life of wisdom, of knowledge yeah. that they can tap into and share. Yeah. And, and they don't have to prove it to themselves because I've, I've proved to myself, I can make a living. I'm good at what I do. Yeah. If it's a choice now, do yeah. I want to continue in that? Not to the fact that I decided to put the, pause button on the fashion thing and be more into the healing modality and share what I'm feeling right now, yeah. which is uh, you know, the renewal of, uh, of uh, Yasmin.
<laughs> and and, and uh, really, the, and, and, and that, so there is such a sense of freedom of uh, the, the, the pressure, your society pressure. You need to get married, you need to have children, you need yeah. to have. I've done it, Finito. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't have to prove to myself. <laughs> now it's time to enjoy, really. No, but before as well, I don't think so, but even more. There's so much freedom right now. I could just go at the drop of a hat that decided for three months to go. I mean, this is like, whoa, yeah. luxury. <laughs> That's an amazing, amazing life. I mean, really, I'm fine. So like, I just wanted to say that to women, you know? And yeah. then if you feel good, if you're strong, because you see, after the age, then the, 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 the machine, the machinery, the body uh, is like, is, is if you don't pay attention, if you don't tune it properly, it will, this is when it starts to break down. Yeah. So the fast helps that not to happen yeah i truly be in old age not going uh in the little wheel wheelchair no yeah. i do not want that kind of old exactly. age and i'm working for it right i do not want i mean i haven't been uh to the doctor over 25 years i don't wow. take medicine <laughs> yes so i mean i feel more i prefer prevention than curing yes yes so if I, uh, if, uh, if I do, I mean, 24 days to 20 days, I mean, it's a time where you do, it's not always pleasant, as I said, you have, a, but in my case, after doing it so much and living a reasonably healthy life, my, my side effects are very low. I just have to rest a little bit more sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it happens, whatever I welcome, because I know it's it's doing it's tuning for my best interest to my best interest, wow. and really <laughs> not going to the doctor is fantastic. I really love it. <laughs> I just been, you know. And then you listen to yourself, right? You be you are your best doctor, really. So you read yeah. about this, read about that, uh, and you make up your mind what how you want to live your the remaining years of your life. Yes, and you. Yeah. That again, uh, it's it's again around the emotions, letting go, yeah. letting go and letting God. Yes, yes. And, and then uh, being connected with the spirit because oh, when your guides, your whoever God has the best interest for you, so just listen and slow down. <laughs> in my case, slow down. Slow down in the in a in a in a caution in a cautionary way not yeah. out of fear you no, know it's like you know i used to push myself you know oh you do it you can do it more and you do that no 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 no. just do it you're tired you sleep you do this you know you have you you know how to uh, to uh organize your life according yeah. to how you feel mm. so how do people get in touch with you if you want to go on a long fast and you want to be uh, so I'm a, uh, I am interested in uh, creating a group of uh, five or six people and it's usually a 10 day a 10 day fast of water which I every day there would be there are three private calls that I will take will give to so that I know each one of uh, the participants and then every day there would be a Zoom or a reunion because I really believe that it's important to meet other people and have, share their experience. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, the 10 day of uh, recovery, recovery periods is uh, three times a week. I would be, there would be a Zoom call. And then I give a lot of material and there are bonuses as well, like astrological reading, uh, a recipe. I'm a great uh, vegan uh, chef. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah and then uh, you know and during the during that time you i'm 24 7 available if there is any crisis but there have been crisis so let i want to share one what one person says about the benefit of the of the fastest we were talking about that um yasmin was there to guide me through it all she helped me to interpret my dreams yes that's part of it okay. <laughs> understand what pains in my body could mean spiritually and she also listened with great care she was the navigator and i was the captain of my ship she helped me start some good habits in self-care that i fully intend to keep because they help me feel good about myself 
The fast helped me notice things in my life that I hadn't taken the time to look at before. And because of her assistance, I'm hopeful that I'll be able to bring joy and love to anyone who needs it around me. I recommend her services to anyone who's beginning a change of lifestyle and stepping into fasting. That was from Dominique. Wow, that's and amazing. Now, friend, just one more and I stop. I feel that your support and your immense knowledge are invaluable to me and extremely helpful to keep me permanently on the right track of treating my body as my temple. That's for Sandra from uh, Switzerland. And Sandra, up until now, we're very close and... Uh, and it's fabulous. I am so happy that uh, I was at the beginning of that deep change in her life. So it's very powerful. It's not to be taken. It's not for the lighthearted. It's for the one who is committed mm -hmm. to a quality of life that is superior to the one that they've experienced and superior to what the society wants and think that you should have. Yeah. You know, and how should people contact you if they want to get in touch? Oh, yeah. So there is my Facebook page. Uh -huh. uh, the Facebook page is uh, uh, at my name, you know, facebook.com at Claire Yasmin Rana. And then my email, which Claire is y, okay. yeah, yr7587 at gmail.com. And, can you and repeat then, that, please, Yasmin, can you repeat that? Y r 7587 at gmail.com gmail.com yeah and then i will go through the initial uh it's very important because not everybody is fit to do it so i'll have to decide if that's a potential candidate or not and yeah and the, yeah kind of a bill of health because yeah. sometimes uh, and, and people, you don't you, know? you don't recommend people should do it on their own uh they do it for the first time they really should they should they just do it after the season, or it, it does it come with a disclaimer like you know if you do it on your own you're at, like it's your your risk <laughs> yeah i think i think because there is uh, somebody who is guiding you who has gone through especially at the first time you may yeah. have some side effects some uh, that you don't know how to to deal with and you you're going to break the fast which is a the crucial moment maybe not to yeah. when you feel the need to do this not the time Okay. So I'm there with my knowledge, my experience, my care, my love for uh, to help guide and go through if there is any obstacle. And then for their, for their enjoyment, it's so fun to share. And then with other, there's a Facebook group as well. Uh, and then we share. You have, we share group, it's, you have a group particularly for women over 50, right? Yes, exactly. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit about that group? Well, it's a group that uh, if you're interested, you can be, uh, you want, you can ask for being part of it. And it's, uh, it's interactive, you know, it's Facebook group, people who have gone through, who want, well, I have actually two groups. One is just for around those women who wants to, it's like a filter, right? The first is there, is, is they sitting there. And then once they want to do the fast, then I put them in a very, very private group, which is exclusively for the ones who are going through the fast. Right. And then they share that because there's a lot of thing, a lot of sharing that not everybody wants to have everybody, you know. Yeah. But the first one of uh, the women over 50 is women who are interested in health, who wants to have companionship, sisterhood, or women who are, you know, interested in the, in menopause or whatever they go through and share, but maybe not necessarily apt to do the fast yet. Mm -hmm. Who wants to know, see whatever, and then and then from that platform they can ask for a fast. Right. And I will let this play. You and know? also, you also do quite a few Facebook lives. You're gonna start back up again. Yeah. So I uh, I had done that in the past, uh, and I and I kind of uh, was not very regular with that, and now I want to resume. Every Thursday around 3 p.m. when I'm in Kathmandu, okay. I like to uh, I like to do a live. Uh, so it, it doesn't have it can be very simple, but I usually some tips and uh, expressions around health and mm -hmm. uh, and well being. But fasting, I've uh, you know I like to educate. Yeah, and then uh, demystify the whole thing. Yeah, demystify. Yeah. They think that if you don't eat, you're not you're not going to be alive. This is a, this is like <laughs> bad, you know, because 
And then right now, truly speaking, with the COVID, with all the fear, all the, uh, the fear, the media. So I help remind people, don't listen to the news, just slow down, take time for them, build up your immune system. You need zinc, you need vitamin C, you need rest, you need to take care. And then maybe with the fast, you will help. Yeah. The body will help you heal and be, it's an excellent tool to build up the immune system. Yeah. And the COVID is, is around all around immune system. So if you have a strong immune system, you can have, you know, virus are everywhere all the time. Yeah. We just, uh, some people are more resistant to others. Yeah. Like I had this, uh, her mother had it and she didn't have it because she's younger. She had a stronger immune system. The mother got it, but weak. So it, it's all benefit. You, you lose the weight. <laughs> you lose the weight. You feel more confident about yourself and your immune system is much more vibrant. You know why? Because, and then it, the fast regulates all the operation of the digestion. Yeah. This is so important. You see, you can put, you can diet, you cannot eat anything, or you can put the, you think, oh, if I eat only this or that. If your digestive system is not functioning well, it will not digest. You could have the best vitamins, the best almonds, the best yeah. whatever will just go to waste yeah. or just about. Yeah. But the first thing it does is restore the, the, the full vibrancy of all your inner gut, you know, the gut, the gut is so important. Yeah. And, and it will later on, so for people who have lost a lot of weight, who are not, who are skinny and wants to gain weight, there are such people, and there are people who wants to lose. There's one who wants to gain and the one who wants to lose. Mm -hmm. So the 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 digest thing the fast helps to recalibrate all the digestive uh, uh, organs makes them wow. vibrant more able to digest and so for people who want to maintain a certain weight because they cannot they cannot lose weight because their uh, digestion is really wrong it, is, yeah, it yeah. keeps piling because it's not digested so it piles yeah. up and the others it doesn't get digested and it just goes no, so yeah. that they would they need to be calibrated, on. they would gain the weight yeah. they're supposed to, their body needs to. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Powerful. Awesome. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so glad you came and spoke to us. And uh, I'm sure lots and lots That's of people good. are going to find this so useful. Guys, please um, take up Yasmin on her offer and uh, get coached to fast if you want to. Please. Um, this is not medical advice that I'm giving. It comes with a disclaimer. I'm in just the same boat as any of you are. And if I need help with fasting, Yasmin is the person I would go to for a long fast. So um, thank you so much. Thanks, Yasmin, for coming on. And uh, blessings <laughs> and all the best wishes for your journey for 2021. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye-bye.